Alright, so this week we're going over a concept that's pretty commonly known but not fully utilized. It's the idea, idea of going low and then high. So this is something our sensei always talked about. It's trying to get their intention to something else. For me to try to move something on his upper body, I need to first do something to his lower body. But it's not trying to cause pain or trying to make him reach down to block. It's more to just get his, his mind off of what's happening up here and then go towards the stimulation on the bottom. So we're here, I'm trying to take him down, but we're, he's very strong, so I can't really do much, so I need to be able to disengage, and then I can take him down. So now we're going to go to a quick sparring example. This is going to be on the wall just to show how you can use low to high in a different scenario. We're going to go about 50% just because we, so we can go through different techniques and help each other out and not try to muscle our opponents and actually use real technique. Notice how right after he goes low, he goes immediately to the high. We're not trying to stomp here. He's not just stomping on my feet. And we're not just going like this and holding everything sta stable on top. We're still trying to go low and as quickly as possible go high. Our intention is always up top. another sparring example, this time away from the wall, but notice our distances. We're going to start from a striking distance, we're going to move towards a clinching distance, and then I'm going to try to take my opponent down. He's again just going to go low to high. 